Hello, welcome, my friends, colleagues, family. Whenever I speak about health and about diseases, uh, it is unavoidable not to talk about cellular toxicity. Now, what is this cellular toxicity and where it comes from? It can come from the air pollution, whatever is absorbed into the body, uh, potentially can be absorbed into our cells. Uh, how, how is that possible? Well, very simply, our cells do not have arms, they don't have uh, a mouth, they do not selectively uh, take in things from a blood. They either take it all or nothing because the only way that they are absorbing normally on regular basis is through osmotic process. There are no such a way as we are being told in a school because whenever Scientists do not understand something, they invent things and they make them as they are fact. I explained that uh, cells uh, and cellular liquid is vastly different from blood and plasma because of uh, the sheer amount of particular element that it has, which is potassium and uh, on the other side has quite low uh, quantity of sodium comparing to the blood. Now, why is it so? Because potassium has to be, is a little larger than sodium and it cannot penetrate through cellular membrane without little push. Which means that on regular basis, we cannot absorb potassium into the cell through the membrane because there is not enough pressure there. And uh, cells have huge amount of potassium. So how does the potassium enter and why there is not huge amount of salt? Well, if you have a plastic bag with little holes in it and you immerse it in a sea, well, sea water will go in and out to those little holes. But if there is something that is slightly larger than those holes, it cannot go in. So if this slightly larger element is already in this bag, it cannot go out. And if it is outside of the bag, it cannot go in. It needs pressure to push it in. If this is what happens with potassium, so how did potassium end up in a cell? Well, cell made it. Cell makes potassium through what we call the cold fusion process, where sodium is excited energetically because it is zapped with a high voltage electric shock, which is produced with prismatic body within a cell. The, the prismatic body is like capacitor, raises and can quickly discharge and excites sodium, bonds it to oxygen and creates potassium. Now it will do it only if required. It needs permission for it, which comes from a cellular receptor, the cellular brain, we can call it, which is different than our brain because it does not process things the same way as our brain does. It is basically uh, designed to react on certain impulses through sensing if something is permitted or not permitted, if it can be done or cannot be done, and it can actually read the genetic blueprint and see which way to do things. It is a mechanical, electronical thing, thing, 
That's how it works. It's all about frequencies and energy. So our cells do not know that what is coming is a glucose or is a fructose or it is a triglyceride. There's no clue. Just senses the energies and according to the calibration reacts to these energies. Now, if nothing is toxic in a blood that cell deemed to be toxic, the receptor, uh, because receptor is programmed also, and also it is programmed through the genetic factor. And if it doesn't sense anything problematic, it is going to give the order or allow the production of potassium to go on and the more potassium the cell produces the denser the liquid gets and starts sucking the liquid from the blood which is then of lower density and then everything what is in the blood will enter in including if something is toxic which the receptor was not aware of because does not have the experience so if you never ever had garlic and the first time you take a garlic the cell will take it in but very quickly they will notice it, its toxicity and they will stop the osmotic pump but because when we are when our blood is clean and the cellular absorption works normally the osmotic pump is very strong and it takes up to 15 minutes to close it down. Why? The potassium production stops immediately, but there is such a big difference between the density of those two liquids. There is so much potassium there already that it will take another 15 minutes of absorption to equalize the density so the absorption stops. Again, mechanical thing. Now, if we are having toxic blood, blood that has a lot of pollution in it, and receptor is familiar with this pollution, it basically will not allow any potassium production. So the cell has its own regular activity, has to produce energy or depending if it's, let's say prostate has to produce lubricant, if it is uh, um, uh, any organ that produces secretion of hormones, it has to produce hormones. Um, especially active parts of uh, young body are the sexual organs okay so they are being used and they have to produce lubricant they have to cleanse they have to, they are very active and blood um, water plasma has to be brought so the cells can cleanse but if now blood blood becomes toxic cells will not cleanse and they still have to produce the same things we still continue having sex even if the blood is toxic. We continue eating, so the metabolism is continuing. And cells are producing their acids. Then they have to cleanse them. They have to keep them under control. Again, through their calibration system. But if there is not enough plasma within the cells, not enough liquid, not enough water with minerals, then the cell has no other option than throw less of the toxins out. So if it throws less of the toxins, it's because it is saving water, then it becomes gradually more and more toxic, mostly acidic. But not only acidic, if we have been exposed um, to metals and we always are even when you drink water there is metal in it because uh, it is part of uh, 
the elements which are being found in the water so including seawater so body cells absorb them when they are hydrating and then to get rid of them well they need pressure because they basically cleanse what is the most important thing to cleanse for them which is acids uh, and if there is not enough water cellular pressure is low normally if we are well hydrated and everything works fine cells are round and pressurized but if we examine the cells of uh, middle age and older people we see that the cells are oval and in older people they actually look like prune same like the skin skin is always a reflection of what is happening in a body and this means that cells are not absorbing because blood is toxic and they have been cleansing and with low water for, for a while, years, and gradually they became more and more dehydrated, which means more and more acidic, because acids cannot be cleansed. And this now interferes with cellular ability to hold electric charge. And this is why old people are tired always tired but not only old even young people when they are toxic they feel tired out of energy yes because cells become toxic they cannot hold the charge with younger people we still have it a little camouflaged because of the f amount of fat that we have and uh, hides the wrinkles a little bit but even that slowly this is why uh, heavier people don't show wrinkles so much not because they are better hydrated but because fat fills in so it doesn't show the wrinkles but if they would lose this fat they would wrinkle up very quickly it's all because of cellular dehydration and cells are dehydrated because blood is toxic or because there is a big stress daily stress and stress robs the cells of the necessary energy to produce potassium and also stops the pump so you can have a clean blood and having cellular problems because of stress but this is way more difficult because if blood is clean then it is way easier for cell to trigger the osmotic uh, hydration because not a big increase in osmosis has to be achieved so a little bit more potassium and there will be coming stuff will be coming in the problem is that when we are toxic on a circulatory level if our blood is toxic well that's another story because what is happening here why is blood toxic because it's not being cleansed and why is not being cleansed but primarily primarily because there is not enough plasma not enough water with minerals and this means that again body same like a cell wants to hold on to this water and kidneys cannot do their cleansing so what is happening that toxicity of the blood is gradually increasing same like toxicity within cells and we see it because urine is becoming more toxic um, and also changes color becomes darker and smellier now the thing is that higher is the toxicity of the blood 
indicates immediately that there is problem with hydration. But drinking water does not solve the problem because there are no minerals. So you raise water, well, it impedes the electrical action. The conductivity of the blood is not good. So body immediately calibrates. It has to, it's a robot, it calibrates. Now our consciousness has nothing to do with it. It's a robotic mechanism. This is how it's calibrated. So you drink water, well, minerals are missing. The body lets water out. And at the same time, it's trying to hold whatever electrolyte there is. Of course, it cannot hold it 100%. So you always keep losing more salt, but you will not lose toxic elements because even the toxic elements are cations. So they are electrolytes and body will hold them because if it, lo if it loses ability of conducing electricity, it dies. So there is no even question about it, what the body will do. It's programmed this way, survival. It has to conduct electrical charge. If it doesn't, it's finished. So, I have stated before, the stupidity we are told about avoiding salt is there for reason. Because those who know and who control our knowledge through books, they know easier way, easiest way to make us all sick is deprive us of minerals, of salt. And then we are being told lies that kidney cannot really eliminate salt well. So if we have salty things, salt accumulates, which then raises our blood pressure and can lead to water retention. This is idiotism, doesn't work this way at all. But we just absorb it and we take it as the truth because it comes from medical books, specialists. Geniuses wrote this. No, geniuses didn't wrote. Material of geniuses is hidden. This is all manipulated knowledge, basically, by Rockefeller Foundation. They control knowledge of the medical schools, and this is why they want to pass law that only doctors who pass the medical school that they control can take care of health, of human health, because they know that they are going to create a disease. And this is what we are doing. We are creating disease if we are obeying the science that we are given by the establishment. Anywhere, anything that government has hands on turns to shit. Everything. And the best uh, way where you can see it is communism. Bigger government, bigger shit. Democrats, United States Democrats, just look at them. Demo uh, brain of a Democrat is the most expensive matter. Why? It's hard to find. Okay? So, Fauci is a corrupt liar. Is one of the guys responsible for all these health problems that we encounter in the United States. And not only in the United States, because this is global. When we talk about deep state, we are not talking about deep state of the United States. It's a global deep state. They are fractured through from Israel to Europe to China to uh, Russia to United States. Very little in South America. Why? Well, there's not much. They are keeping South America for themselves. But again, pollution with uh, wrong information here is, I mean, the schools are a joke. What I have seen here in Peru, the schools are really, really a joke. So, 
when you think, well, how can it be that doctors don't know? Same, same way as we don't know. What we know is what we hear from doctors. What doctors know is what they read from a books so that are given to them. And it's all controlled knowledge. It's all garbage. It's not just doctors, but we are talking here about medicine. We are talking about health. So we are talking about doctors. You want to talk about economy, about history, about whatever. It's all corrupt, all manipulated. So, dirty blood, basically, polluted blood, is a problem that creates majority of the cellular dehydration problems. Now, I've shown through my protocol, the Cell Healers Protocol, I've shown how easy it is to cleanse the blood. As soon as you raise the level, when you optimize the level of plasma in the body, the cleansing organ jump on cleansing. And it's again, not kidneys only, because the level of toxicity is so high that as soon as you put plasma in, now you have a kidneys running, you have glomerules in mucosal tissue running and glomerules in a skin running. So this is where all these things will come. Plus, the body is frantically going to try to reduce the toxicity by raising a heat. Because what is happening is now it has enough minerals, so it does not need biological toxic element, all those proteins which were there that it was holding on onto just so it has the electric conductivity. So it raises a body temperature. Again, this all is happening because body is programmed to react like this. So sensors are going on and pop, okay, this and this is a problem, raise the heat. So we get fever. And as these toxins start seeping out and they are seeping through kidneys, urine starts to smell bad, it becomes dark, even darker at the beginning, could have foam, because now body is starting to expel also all that protein garbage that was held there. Now this protein garbage, a lot of it has our RNA because the protein was made in our body, so it has our signature in it. It's not whatever protein, it is our body's protein. So if we make blood analysis and we say, okay, we had a fever, we had diarrhea because of the, all this uh, toxic mucus creates inflammation of intestines and gives us diarrhea. All this toxic mucus comes in the stomach, gives us nausea, we may even vomit. We, uh, it's increased heat to burn it and then we sweat it out. So all this are symptoms of flu. And now if you check your blood and there are pieces of RNA in it, bingo, virus, you had a flu. You have a cold if you don't check your blood. If you check your blood, you have virus. Now, what is the difference between this virus, what is happening now, this flu, and cleansing? Well, I always say that whoever starts on cellular's protocol, I warn that there will be two uh, times when strong symptoms are going to show up. First is when you start, up the third day, second or third day, because the level of plasma is there and now the detox, and if the blood was really toxic, more toxic it was, the stronger symptoms of flu are going to show up. But quickly, after five, six days, 
uh, the blood is becoming cleaner, so symptoms are diminishing. After 12 days, 12 to 14 days, almost no symptoms. But what happens is blood cleaned up. Now the cellular receptor senses, wow, this is good opportunity to hydrate and starts engaging osmotic pump. Now for osmotic pump, again, what it needs? Sodium, oxygen, and energy. And since we have, rose, we have risen the level of plasma, which is water with minerals, and in my protocol it is being done through seawater or sea salt in the water, there is plenty of sodium so the cells can achieve the good uh, production of uh, potassium and engage their osmotic pumps. And all of a sudden, since uh, more energy is available during the night, because during the day we are using our brain a lot, we are thinking, we are transmitting. Every time you think, you transmit. And this takes a lot of energy. So there is not much left for cellular hydration. But at night, when we go to sleep, the brain stops thinking. And here, now energy is plentiful to run the osmotic system in our cellular structure. And as cells start absorbing the water, the plasma, immediately they start eliminating the toxic load, minimizing it. And if more toxic they are, the more garbage it is going, and more as, as acids and toxic garbage, it is going to come out from the cells and ends up back in the blood and in lymphatic system. So, back again come the symptom, symptoms of flu because now body immediately starts cleansing them out because there is enough plasma, let's cleanse them out. So you start eliminating, but sometimes the saturation could be so high that body is programmed to speed up the, acceler the, the blood circulation just to, to, uh, so it can speed up the cleansing process. So we can end up with tachycardia. And for this, again, more energy is needed and also more oxygen is needed because more potassium is being produced because it all has to run together. So we end up hyperventilating. We can really, this can wake us up in early, usually early morning hours, like four o'clock, five, five o'clock. And I've seen it and very often with long time vegans and vegetarians. Because on a cellular level, they're extremely, extremely acidic and toxic. Because many plant food, especially raw one, has certain toxins which cells do not want to take in and they close osmotic pump. So body will cleanse them out if they are drinking enough water and having decent amount of uh, plasma but the problem is that a lot of them also don't take salt because we have all been told salt is no good so even though they drink a lot of water they cannot really cleanse the blood so well because there is not enough minerals and not enough plasma coming on but two times a year I have explained that Whenever we are exposed under influence of outside energy that our cells deem to be toxic, well, cells decide that they have to immediately take the energy out. Here I want to also explain that the cells are not only absorbing the energy that comes through the water and um, through um, blood and plasma. 
but they are being affected by energy of the environment, by electromagnetic radiation, by our brain's thoughts, because those are also electromagnetic waves. And sometimes we can get so scared that our hearts start palpitating. And we, we, we feel sick from being scared. Why? Because the brain has produced this frequency of fear that now affect your cell, your cellular structure. And it, the cellular structure deems it as a toxic energy and immediately rejects it. And as it starts rejecting, rejecting it, it eliminates not only this energy, but eliminates some of the toxicity that it has together with the water that it needs, which dehydrates it. So this is where fear is very, very problematic for our body. But if this happens, now the blood becomes toxic and we, have, we can have symptoms of flu after being scared. And it happens often that people have some event and then they break down with flu. Well, the flu is just the energy that brain has produced of fear was affecting the cells and the cells rejected it and by throwing it away, it's like if we eat food and there was a piece of a rotten thing inside that is toxic and you're as soon as it's in your stomach, your sensors sense it, and they say, okay, this cannot go into the body. And you throw up. It makes you nauseous and you throw up. This is what happens with the cell. This toxic energy comes and the cell, wah, they throw up. Well, what comes out is RNA also. And because more toxic elements come out, they make blood dirty. The cleansing organs of the body goes in action, they cleanse it out, and you can get fever, you can get complete. After being really scared, you can get symptoms of full-blown flu. But if less toxins came out, you can have less symptoms. It just changes in, in urine color, or maybe just diarrhea, okay, which is the most common symptoms or headache. Now, here you can see how energy can actually influence cleansing on a cellular level. And this is why when the uh, Spanish flu hit, well, at that time, electrification came on. Europe was electrified and radio with radio waves all over the place and these are all unknown new toxic frequencies which then and it was right after the war people were eating poorly drinking poorly bodies were toxic so huge detox was coming on because these are toxic energies and they came suddenly, so bodies did not have enough time to adjust genetically to it, to open a new blueprint that will allow cells to survive in this energetic change. Now, if we hear on the news that there is a pandemic, virus and huge amount of people are going to die well this triggers fear factor more scared you are the more likely it is going to be that your cells are going to go into cleansing mode even if you are low on liquids so if you are low on plasma on a circulatory level your blood is toxic you usually have some symptoms of it, which we call chronic problems. So you can be young 
and you have chronic problems, which means you are very toxic on cellular level, plus you are dehydrated on circulatory level. And now if cleansing is triggered by energy that would come from your thought, it can come from cellular phone, if it is the right energy, 5G, or cellular tower, or they have weaponry now, weapon that can do this. So your cells are triggered in cleansing, but you are low on plasma. So now your body cannot even take this toxicity out. It has problems. It tries, but it can choke and you die. You just overpower the system with a very fast detox of very toxic cells having low amount of liquid plasma. You choke the system. Fear factor is very important, but also the energies we are being attacked by and our own system. Was it well hydrated? Does it have enough plasma? These people who show symptoms of flu, they should be immediately given a lot of water with sea salt so they can start cleansing. And you can introduce them to toxins which will into the which are in the body which will then give us sensors of your cellular structure information that what is in the blood is more toxic or more problematic than the energy that they are trying to expel and this is going to stop the cell from continuing of this cleansing. Hydrochloroquine is toxic, but it does exactly this. Same is with strong antibiotic. They say, well, I put strong antibiotic, it works. Yeah. Some have very good, some doctors have a very good uh, uh, re results just by using a regular antiviral medicines. Antiviral, anti-cold because they are all toxic and if you are not extremely polluted well as soon as the cleansing is stopped with this toxic medication you start feeling better because you start slowly detoxing the blood and uh, the toxin has been held in the cells doesn't affect you so much We have to understand that there is no such a thing as a little thing that creates a cold virus that attacks the body and creates a disease. There is no such a thing. It's energy, toxic energy, and this toxic energy body can get used to by opening a proper genes. But this takes time. This is not done immediately. It needs little time to do this. This is why people get used to it. So what happens? In the fall, all of a sudden, energies change. Cells are not used to it. So this new energy change, they react by vomiting. So they start throwing garbage out, pollute the body. Then the body has to cleanse and has the symptoms of cleansing, which we call flu. But since these energies are now persistent, the genetics adjust to it and the cells learn to live with these energies. So after the initial outburst of vomiting, cellular vomiting, now everything settles down because cells have adjusted to these energies. And in the spring, we have another set of energies, another change. It's a sudden change. 
So the cells again react by vomiting. Now if you are more or less clean on a cellular level, if you don't have such a high amount of toxicity, you are not going to show symptoms. Or if you have in the blood something that is more toxic than these energies, because every time the body is going to expel, it has to absorb. So, if it decides to keep the cells closed because of the toxicity on the outside, well, also you will suppress these symptoms because not much toxicity will come out. And this is why uh, vegans and vegetarians, when they eat a raw vegetables because of their toxicity they don't have these abrupt cleansing symptoms and they don't experience flu and they say wow my immune system is strong immune system has nothing to do with flu absolutely nothing yeah immune system can help absorb and cleanse destroy some of the toxins that come from the cells but there is no anti antibody, there is no, nothing to fight. There is no bacteria, virus, bacteria, virus. There is no bacteria or fungus or something to fight. It's just dealing with regular body's toxic elements. So every change uh, of electromagnetic frequencies that cells can deem uncomfortable can trigger this and as i have mentioned before in different videos that nikola tesla knew about it he said he knew that with electricity he can stimulate symptoms of flu he did not create virus because a virus well yeah you can call virus this energy viral energy now, if you know this, then you know that mask is not going to help you anything. It's energy that is in a space. Every person that has this energy, that has absorbed it and is cleansing, well, where the person moves, we are all going through energetic fields. Energy is everywhere. And we are living trace because electromagnetic imprint stays. So if you have been lingering in one place longer and you have this strong energy in your body, when you move, now this area has a stronger energetic field. You walk into it, if your cells are dirty, you may again show symptoms of flu. This energy is going to affect you. Again, if you have been eating garlic, maybe not, because garlic is toxic enough to prevent the hydration and actually to shield you from these energies because it's more toxic than the energy of flu. This is why people say, oh, eat garlic, ginger, da da da. Yeah, poison your blood during this particular time of, of uh, exposure but again you are making your body more toxic you are making your cells more toxic by doing this so next time when flu season comes or some flu energies come you are going to react stronger uh, this is why I always say don't wait cleanse you feel good doesn't matter cleanse how clean you are, you will know. Start drinking water with sea salt or diluted seawater or pure seawater. Amount of salt absolutely has nothing to do with uh, anything triggering anything bad in your body. As long as there is enough water so the body can calibrate, only what will happen is that your urine is going to become extremely toxic and your, uh, extremely salty and your sweat as well. That's all. No other difference. But you are giving body the right plasma that it can use to cleanse. And then if 
when you drink water with sea salt, if you don't have diarrhea, which means your blood is quite clean, because diarrhea is not triggered by the water, salt in the water that now came into your system. Diarrhea is triggered by the toxic element that are going to be now eliminated from your blood through your mucosal tissue, through your glomerul, which to becomes toxic mucus that goes into your intestines, irritates them, make them to swell, they don't absorb the water, and you get diarrhea. So, systems, how things work, is completely different from what we are being told. And if you are drinking, you don't have to put much salt. Half a teaspoon is enough for one liter of water, makes it blessed, and And um, as soon as you raise the plasma level, you, you need to drink like three liters of this, and in two days, maximum third day, if you do not have diarrhea, then your system, your blood, is fairly clean. But then continue drinking this amount of water with or plasma, and you will see if it's going to trigger any cellular cleansing. But to do that, you have to make sure that you do not bring in toxic elements. The most common are nicotine, alcohol, medicinal remedy, any kind of medicine or medicinal plants, like those that have turmeric or those that have uh, like a garlic or, or ginger. But turmeric also will stop it, okay? So, and then you will see if your cells were toxic, then they will start eliminating toxins and all of a sudden you may get a symptoms of flu. Not at the beginning, but in the second part after several days of hydrating. So, uh, whenever my experience is vegans, vegetarians, try it. Try not to take any raw vegetables for several days. You can have uh, carbohydrates or cooked vegetables because with the heat you basically destroy all these, but you cannot have garlic and you cannot have ginger or turmeric in it nothing that is stronger medicinal and drink plasma and see what happens within few days and if you start getting symptoms of flu well you are starting to cleanse on a cellular level this is the best test you can do and from experience I know cleaner you are on cellular level weaker symptoms of flu you are going to get no matter what type of energy triggers the flu. This is why now with this supposed corona virus, only elderly are, and, and those with previous conditions, which means chronically ill, are experiencing a death, which means they are so toxic and so dehydrated that this fast detox combined with inability of take the toxins out of the body because of, there's not enough plasma, choke system, and people die. Now they say, oh, children are getting it. Yeah. Well, children are loaded with vaccines. Vaccines are extremely, they are putting poison directly into the circulation, toxic elements. So cells will absorb them and then they are toxic on cellular level. If energy comes, they may throw up. The cells can purge make your blood toxic and create the symptoms of flu. And children now are very toxic because of vaccines, because of the stupid food that they are being given to eat, 
and more color it has the the worse it is a lot of these processed meats very toxic processed foods very toxic any kind plant doesn't matter even fresh plants now they are all manipulated they are full of herbicides pesticides extremely toxic so all this is increasing the toxic load of the body which in some point can be protecting you from energies of flu but then if it doesn't if it's not what is there to protect you from it and you have a detox of very toxic cells well you will have strong symptoms of flu and we are almost all very dehydrated because we are all being told not to have salt you cannot be hydrated if you don't take in enough minerals and this chelation nonsense it's pure nonsense you don't need any chelation through plants your body will absorb minerals through seawater sea salt it's loaded 80 percent 80 minerals in there everything your body needs is right in there so keep this in consideration this is not experimental science 20 years i'm on this already and i have clients all over the world not many because people are afraid mostly people have chronic problems and chronic problems always will involve also they're on some type of uh, heart medication or or high blood pressure medication and when they hear word salt they run salt has nothing to do the blood pressure will be exactly the same doesn't matter how much salt you take the only thing is that if you have already compromised circulation and blood vessels lost flexibility and now you start optimizing the level of blood well it will increase the blood pressure of course but not from salt you are optimizing the plasma levels and you need to do this so body can cleanse and can repair all these blood vessels health being healthy is so easy once when we understand how body works we don't need doctors we don't need pharmaceutical garbage plants will give us anything we need for temporary manipulation of symptoms and we can heal and this is where we are going with this new knowledge keep absorbing keep reprogramming your brain you don't don't i don't ask you to trust me try try it and you will see exactly what i told you is going to be happening and if you are heavily medicated or basically would prefer to have supervision give me a call all can be done through telephone conversation through whatsapp through skype everything can be done because you are going to heal yourself this is why the protocol is called self healers protocol i can just explain you what is going to be happening way and maybe times where we have to reduce a little bit of plasma intake because the body is so defective that it cannot function properly and it needs to be recuperated on a slower pace other than that anybody can do it okay i hope again i made some sense in your life if uh, there is something particular you want me to talk about uh, regarding health let me know if you need my help let me know if you just want to chat let me know I'll be glad to help you. Love you all.